Welcome to Shift by Bacardi. Hi everyone. In case you don't know me, my name is Cindy Lam. I'm representing the Cold Room and Elk Canyon Bar here in La Belle Province, Montreal, Quebec. So tonight's segment is my favorite one. It's called Nightcap. Now, why is it my favorite? Because I'm gonna tell you guys a really awesome story. And if anyone's ever been to the bar, they know that I will always have a story to tell you. Shout out Bacardi for letting me do this. I am having a blast being in the most comfortable part in my house. I am gonna make you guys a cocktail today. My cocktail today is called Fall Back Home. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna start by using three quarters of a raisin syrup that I made. Guys, super easy to make at home. You just use equal parts sugar and water. So I use half a cup of sugar with half a cup of water. A ton of raisins, uh, sultana raisins. Just let that sit, let it simmer. It gets all those beautiful raisin flavors that come out. So I'm gonna use three quarters of that. And you see, I'm doing this right in the comfort of my home. So super easy, very relaxed. Then I'm going to use three quarters of fresh lemon juice. So it's going to add that nice balance on the citrus. And then I'm going to use this amazing Bacardi Ocho Rum. And I'm using just a half ounce of this. Give it a nice little kick. We're going to use three quarters of an Italian liquor that's made from rhubarb. Today, I am using the Ducé Cognac. It is a very powerful Cognac. It's got great woody notes, cinnamon notes, and floral notes. So it's gonna be really great in my cocktail today. If you guys haven't tried this yet, it's really wonderful Cognac. I highly recommend it. <laughs> I'm gonna add one ounce of this beautiful Cognac in. And then we're gonna add one egg white that I've already put aside. So you're just cracking open an egg and you're just putting the egg white in. And since we're using egg white, we're gonna do a dry shake. So, so easy, I'm just gonna chill on my couch, give it a shake, just hanging out, what's up? See? So give it a nice shake just to get all those beautiful ingredients all together. And we're going to add ice and we're gonna shake it again. So, I'm gonna have my ice right here, and you guys are in for a treat. It's gonna be a really great cocktail. Mmm, oh, that's what I call this. Look at that nice frothiness. And now it's story time. So I've got this great cocktail here. Fall back home. And mm, get this sip. Ah, oh, that's so good. Oh, you guys are gonna enjoy this. Now, since we're at home and it's story time, I'm gonna light up my candle. All right, today's story is about the, I wouldn't say the, my favorite person I met at the bar, but definitely something that like sat well with me. Last summer, I was working at the bar and I was working at El Pequet and one of my clients comes in and he's like, Cindy, Cindy, there's this really famous basketball player, okay? I can't say his name, so let's just call him Brad. He's an amazing basketball player and even though I'm like four foot 10, I've played basketball all my life, so I'm a huge fan. And he was across the street having coffee and my client's like, Cindy, oh my God, Brad's there. And I'm like, oh. so like a creeper that I am, I'm standing out the window and I'm staring at the window like, come on universe, make Brad come to the bar today. He did not. I was so disappointed. I even saw him from afar and I was like, maybe he'll come by for a drink. He's there, didn't happen. At this point, the bar was closed and everyone's cleaning up and I'm just hanging out talking to them. And then at one point, our door rings to say that there's someone at Cobra. At this point, it's 4.30 in the morning. And sure enough, it's Brad. I'm freaking out. You have to understand, this guy is a famous basketball player. And I bolt across the bar. I'm running. I'm like, universe, send me Brad. And I ran up the stairs and I opened the door. And I'm like, hey, how's it going? Brad turns around and he's like, oh, hey, are you guys open? I contemplated being like, yup. So I said, I'm really sorry. We're closed at 3 a.m. I'm like, all the bars are closed at 3 a.m. And I wish I could serve you, but I really can't. And he's like, oh, it's too bad. You know, we like had a later night. So we started late and we didn't realize. And I was like, yeah, I get it. I'm like, but please come back tomorrow, you know? And he said, no problem. And then all of a sudden I hear, hey. And I turn around, I'm like, yeah. I really like your tattoo on your leg. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was definitely like a little girl. The next day I wasn't working, so I did my thing. I hung out with some friends. Later in the week, I came to the bar and 
I ran to one of my coworkers and he's like, hey Cindy, where were you on blah 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 day? And I was like, oh, and while I was, I was off, I wasn't working. He's like, oh, do you know who came to the bar? And I was like, who? And he's like, Brad. And he was asking for you. Hold up. I was like, wait, 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 what? What do you mean he was asking for me? Guys, the moral of the story is, if someone famous like that that you're in love with, you tell them to come back to the bar, you take that chance to come back to the bar the next day and you kind of creep them out of it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm super happy like that he actually came back and he called me cute, so I guess that's like, you know, points there. That is my nightcap story. This is my beautiful drink, Fall Back Home. And again, thank you for tuning in. Guys, don't forget to check in tomorrow to see who's on shift. And big shout out to you guys and Bacardi. Good night. <laughs>